Hi folks, just joined post-match here with Telford Tigers forward Adam Walker. It was a 6-1 win for Telford over Bracknell. Adam, really good team win tonight. Yeah, it was good. I think all the guys uh, the guys came together pretty well and we, we didn't play particularly well last night, but <coughs> managed to get a win. Um, but tonight was better and you know the fan support was uh, fantastic as well. Now that victory tonight makes it 12 wins at the last 14 games. A lot of confidence then in the locker room? Yeah, yeah, we've been doing good. Um, there is a lot of confidence in the locker room. Uh, you know, we had a little bit of a blip last week, which was, uh, you know, it happens to teams. You're never going to win every game. But, um, yeah, the guys, are, the guys are playing pretty good right now, and uh, it's definitely a happy dressing room. Now, we're still waiting on the outcome for the game from Slough, but a defeat for them tonight would secure a Telford Tigers place in the playoffs for the last 17 years. Mm -hmm. So we're almost there. When they get there, how big an accomplishment is that? I think it's massive. I mean, especially for the uh, for the club, it's a huge thing. I mean, to have not made the playoffs in 17 years, and you know, we're we're at that stage now where it's, uh, it could possibly happen tonight, which would be fantastic. Um, you know, I think one of the main reasons I came here was because uh, when the ownership took over, you know, he was a fan to start with, and he was involved in the club, and it's it has a real family background, and you know, so I mean, for us to qualify for the playoffs, is, it's a great achievement for our team. But you know, for the fans, it's it's something probably a lot of them haven't seen before, so it's fantastic. Now the ownership seem to have an exciting project going on here. How does it feel to be a part of that? It's exciting. It definitely is exciting. Um, and originally, I was only supposed to be here for two months, um, but you know, due to some circumstances, uh, I was able to stay on a bit longer. And I mean, it's 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 a great place to be. You know, I've got nothing but good things to say about the people here, and you know, the, I've been made to feel very welcome, which is which is a huge part. You know, as if you're going to somewhere different, you want to be made to feel like you're comfortable, so you can move into your, you know, you can play your game and move into your surroundings right away. And that they've done that here, so it's it's a great place to be right now. Around about this time last year, the chats we were having, you were kind of looking at your eyes beyond playing hockey. Has coming down yeah. here reinvigorated your desire to play? Um, I mean, it's it's hard to say. I mean, it's definitely. I mean, I really have enjoyed my time down here. I think last year was. Uh, it was really, really difficult for for me personally, and I think for a lot of the players in our team. Um, and up in Brayhead, it was really difficult to kind of to kind of get through it. And you know, we didn't have the best seasons uh, the se season anyway. Um, but you know, it's, I'm definitely enjoying playing down here and being down here. And it's uh, my f main focus is still beyond hockey. But uh, you know, if it came to the fact that where I could uh, where I could uh, stay for another year, then you know that. I'd be really happy to do that. It'd be it'd be a great thing to do. And just out of curiosity, how did the move to Telford actually come about? Uh, well, Tom called me in the summer, and he um, he asked if I was available. And at the time, I wasn't because I was meant to be heading out to the states um, in Jan in the January. Um, so we kind of left it at that. But I've known Tom for a while, and uh, around about I think it was around about sort of kind of mid September, he called me again, and he says, you know, what do you think about coming down just to help us out for two months? And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd finished um, what I was doing up in St Andrews at the Caddy and, uh So I thought, yeah, I mean, why not? It'd be, be good to come down and help the team because I knew, you know, they needed a bit of help and it was, uh, and they were going to bring in some experienced guys. So I was happy to come down and help out and it's, uh, you know, it's been great. It's been great since I've been here. And just for the benefit of some of our EIHL fans, mm -hmm. you've been between the EPL and the EIHL. What are the sort of key differences for you as a player for the what it's like to play in those leagues? Um, there's there's a few differences. I mean, obviously the import level is different. So, you have, you it, it is faster in the elite league. Um, you know that's that's a given. Uh, and there's a lot of guys who have come from a lot of great places in the elite league as well, import wise. And um, but you know what? There are some there's some really good British players in this league. And for some reason or, or not, they choose to stay here rather than go in the elite league. Now whether it's you know they have full time jobs or something like that. But there there are British players in this league that are that are better and more talented than than the ones in the elite league I mean, not not everybody as i say but like there's there are some that definitely should be playing at that level but you know for some reason uh whether it's their job or family or their university or whatever they tend to play in this league so that keeps the level pretty high um and with the, usually with the four imports that you bring in they have to be quite high quality imports because obviously you know they're there to do to do a job um so there are there are some similarities uh, oh, the elite league is a, is a better standard, but you know I think since I was last in the, the EPL compared to when I've come here, the gap is definitely closing. And coming back to the EPL, you've actually iced against some of your old teammates and friends from Manchester. Was that strange for you at all to begin with? Yeah, it was. Um, 
do you know what? The, well, the initial two months that I was here, I, we didn't actually play against Manchester. So we didn't play them until January, and the first game was up in Manchester. So I was a little bit um, curious as to how it would be going back there. But the fans there were great. They gave me a really nice reception, and uh, it, was, uh, it was fun to go back um, and play them up there. I mean, it was nice to win as well, but it was, uh, it was fun to go back and play there. So, you know, everybody, I've, I've got a lot of friends around the league, and, you know, everyone's been, uh, been pretty nice. And just to finish off the season now, you'll obviously you'll just want to build as many wins and momentum as possible going into those playoffs. Of course, that's I think that's every team's goal. You know, if we secure the playoff place tonight, great. Um, and if uh, if we don't, then you know we're going to try and do it next week. But the you know the momentum is is to to kind of keep keep our train rolling. And uh, when we move into playoffs, we want to go on in a high rather than going on in a low. So um, hopefully we can do that. Well, Adam, thanks very much for speaking to me. And